we're going to take a look at one of Apple's best new features in Mac OS 10, 10 Yosemite, iCloud Drive. With the release of Mac OS 10, 10 Yosemite and iOS 8, Apple has added a brand new iCloud feature called iCloud Drive. iCloud Drive is a service not unlike something like Dropbox. As you see here, I have a just a standard Finder window open, and on the left-hand corner, in the left-hand section, you're going to see a, an area that says iCloud Drive. iCloud Drive works just like most other folders on your computer that can store files and documents, but it will sync up to iCloud so you can access them from whether it's another Mac, if you're signed into uh, your iCloud account on there, or from any computer at iCloud.com. And if you're on an iOS device, you could access your pages, numbers, and keynote documents from any of those apps on iPhone or iPad. One thing that's a little bit unique about iCloud Drive is that the files are not only synced up to iCloud, but they're also available on your computer as well. So if you're not connected to the internet, you can access all your files offline. You do not require that connection. So if you were to save a file or a document with an iCloud Drive, you could come to iCloud.com from any computer. And then right within your iCloud.com dashboard, you'll see the section that's called iCloud Drive. You'll just go ahead and click on that. Then there are all of your files and all your documents just like on your computer. Using iCloud Drive is very simple. If you're working on a document, just like I have a Pages document open right here, if you wanted to save this Pages document directly to iCloud Drive, it's not unlike anything else. There's a couple ways you can do it. One of the most common and one of the most simple ways is just to go up to File, Save. Then right here you can see where do you want it saved. One of them is within Pages on iCloud. You can see here's iCloud Drive, which is the same thing as this right here but you can also save it into any one of your iCloud Drive folders. So if I come into my iCloud Drive here, again, I can save it directly within my Pages folder, or if I want to save it just anywhere in my basic iCloud Drive, that's where I am. Just click Save. And now when I come back to iCloud Drive, you can see there's my untitled document, and then it's got the uploading bar. And then when it's uploaded to iCloud.com within the iCloud Drive section of there, You'll see it'll just show up automatically within my iCloud Drive section and it'll tell me when it was last updated. And then I can edit it from here as well if I'd like to and those saves will go back to my computer under the original file I have there as well. So constant back and forth saving. Something to remember, these files will count against your iCloud storage capacity which Apple supplies 5 gigabytes for free. So you're going to want to be cognizant of how much storage you're taking and what you have on iCloud Drive. To ensure that iCloud Drive is turned on and ready to go for you, you're going to want to go into your system preferences, click on iCloud, then right here at the top you will see iCloud Drive. Just make sure that box is checked. Down here it will tell you your storage capacity. If you want to increase that, just click on manage and you can either increase or if you have increased already, you can downgrade the service if you choose to do that as well.